describe the uh, game tying goal as kind of an odd situation. And I don't know if the goalie was already hurt or not. He certainly had lost his stick, but walk us through it. You know, actually, I didn't even see the goalie. Um, I just know we had a great shift. Um, it was probably the tail end of the shift when the goal went in. Uh, we were buzzing around. We had Fortunato flying around down low. Uh, Greenway protecting the puck. And Gotti had a couple chances. So, um, you, know, you know, when you have a shift like that, usually good things tend to happen towards the end. And we were able to sustain pressure. And then uh, Greenway found me, and I happened to be in a spot with, with a little bit of space and enough time to get the shot off. So you weren't aware that the goalie was without a stick? I had no idea. No, I, it's new to me. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, when they announced that it was your 100th career point, did you catch on to that at all? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what it was, but I knew it wasn't 100. <laughs> I yeah. wish. Yeah. Um, but how does it feel to hit that milestone regardless? Um, it's nice. To be honest, I had no idea. But, uh, you know, it's nice. It's nice to do it in a game like that. And, um, you know, just the game itself, kind of, you got to give a lot of credit to them. You know, they work hard and, and they pushed us. And, you know, I think they got some bounces and we kind of just stuck to our game plan. We knew that. Even though we were winning on the scoreboard for pretty much all of the game, we were we were doing the right things and, and we just stuck to that and, and we didn't get bored of what we were doing. New line mate with Adi tonight. How do you guys think you played as a whole? I thought we played good. You know, I, I thought Adi stepped up tonight. Um, you know, it's nice having two big wingers like that. Those guys protect the puck well and they get me the puck and then Adi being a shooter, it's it's easy to find him. You know, he's gonna let it rip. So um, you know, I thought he played well. I'm happy to see him score. Um, I thought for most of the game. Maybe even all the game, our line played in, in their end for the most part. So, uh, you know, I'd say that was successful, and we got a lot of things going tonight. It seemed like you guys were doing a better job once you guys went down 2-0, of, you know, getting more shots. What sort of changed in the game plan after uh, you guys were down in that early hole? You know, nothing. That's the thing. It was just um, mentally we stayed on it. I think that shows, um, you know, how mentally tough we are as a team. And we didn't change a thing. Like I said, we felt that felt that they got a few bounces and, and you know they did it did bring some pressure but um you know our D rate on up we started maybe moving the puck a little bit quicker and being a little bit more urgent but you know in terms of our game plan nothing changed. We just uh, we just stuck with it. I don't know how many games you've been down two nothing this year and come back to win yeah. or tie. Um, great to have the comeback. You know what do you think you have to do to, to not get in those holes because it's gonna catch up with you more often than not. Yeah you know we definitely um, Definitely would rather score the first goal of the game, obviously. Um, to be honest, I thought that um, you know tonight, more than some other nights, definitely last night, we, we came out a little harder. We, we felt a little more ready, and you could kind of feel it in the locker room. Uh, you know, Like I said, they got a couple bounces, and they were opportunistic off, off of our broken plays. But um, you know, definitely, we got to start scoring the first goal, and we got to, we got to win first period. Um, that'll, that'll help us in the long run, because parity in this league and, and the difference in one goal games are so small. Coach Quinn was talking about you and the rest of the seniors kind of stepping up and helping rally the team from yesterday. How do you think you uh, saw yourself helping out in that regard? You know, uh, just being a leader by example. You know, with Chris look out right now, um, we don't want to see on the ice. So, you know, me and Danny, uh, we, we got to step up. And, and we're two of uh, only a few seniors. And, and we have a young group just like we do every year. So, uh, you know, whether, whether it's maturity or, or lack of preparation, to, that uh, it's a tribute to some of our slow starts. Um, you know, we got to we got to do our best as a leader to turn that around. And, and like you said, despite going down to nothing, I feel like we did do a good job of coming out a little bit harder tonight. Feel good to win the last home game of the 2015 calendar year here? Yeah, definitely. You know, we talked about it, not just the 2015 calendar, but these being our last uh, Hockey East games of the, of the, of the first half. And, and um, you know, we definitely could not afford to drop two. Unfortunately, we got a split and, and obviously we'd like to win both. But um, it's nice to see our resiliency, especially after losing a full game and being down the whole game to, uh, to come back and get a win. So obviously for Hockey East standings and just finishing out the weekend, it's nice to, nice to end on a win. Anything else?